Well, hundreds of viewers have been sending in questions about the COVID-19 outbreak, and we're working hard to answer them with the facts. Joining us today, Dr. Andrew Carroll, who's on the board of the American Academy of Family Physicians. Hi, Dr. Carroll. Thanks so much for joining us. Hey. Hey, Trim, how's it going? I'm doing well. I hope you are, too. Here's our first question for you. Since it's over 100 degrees now, are we still at risk if we're outside in the sunlight? Definitely feeling it out here today. Um, we are we're, we are at risk. We we think it's going to be a seasonal illness like the flu, where it, the incidence goes down in the summer. But recall that flu still happens in the summertime, so it's not just the heat that slows it down. We think it'll it'll slow it down, but I don't think it'll go away completely. And then when we cool off again, we think it's going to come right back. So even though the heat and the sunlight are somewhat protective, don't think that we're going to be fully protected. And you need to continue to take the same precautions that you always have. All right, another viewer asked us this, if I get coronavirus, how long will I feel sick? Now, again, remember coronavirus, some folks have zero symptoms and that's the concern. People who have no symptoms may not know that they're shedding virus and spreading it around. But for the most part, people who actually feel the symptoms and get sick from coronavirus are suffering for about 7 to 14 days on average. These are the folks who are able to, you know, bear it out at home. There are some people, though, who get so darn sick that they end up in the hospital on a ventilator, and those people are sick anywhere between two weeks and sometimes a month and a half. So it just really depends on how bad you have it. Yeah, all right, Dr. Carroll, thank you so much for your valuable information. We appreciate it. Remember, we want to answer your questions, so please post them on our 12 News Facebook page or text us 602-444-1212. You can also download the 12 News app for all the facts, not fear information on the coronavirus.